Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another amazing video on Primetime TV. Have you ever wondered if electric cars really reduce your carbon footprint? Do they actually help in saving the environment, or is it just another marketing gimmick? Well, in today's video, we will answer all your questions and debunk the myths about electric cars. So let's get started and find out if electric cars are really our best bet to save the environment. Fun fact about electric cars. Electric vehicles are the green option when it comes to transportation. Producing electricity to power them may generate emissions, but they're far lower than those emitted by conventional vehicles. A new report from the Electric Power Research Institute EPRI, and the NRDC confirms that using electricity instead of petroleum to fuel transportation can significantly reduce the number of greenhouse gases and other pollutants that affect our environment and health. As the electric power sector cleans up over the next few decades, the emissions from electric vehicles will decrease even more. So if you're looking for a more sustainable way to get around, electric cars are the way to go. Not to mention, electric vehicles are a great way to reduce carbon emissions and help protect the environment. Not only do they produce zero tailpipe emissions, but they can also dramatically reduce emissions when powered with electricity from clean sources. Therefore, by switching to electric cars, we can actually reduce our carbon footprint and help create a healthier and more sustainable future. Electric vehicles are the key to a future powered by renewable energy. Electric vehicles are an essential part of the clean energy future. A study conducted by the Electric Power Research Institute, EPRI, and the Natural Resources Defense Council, NRDC, shows that electric vehicles, coupled with a clean grid, can reduce carbon pollution from the transportation sector by up to 77% by 2050. This reduction in emissions is equivalent to the emissions from 100 million of today's passenger cars. By electrifying all passenger vehicles and medium-duty commercial vehicles with renewably generated, zero-carbon electricity by 2050, we will address a huge part of the climate challenge for transportation. On further analysis, it was also found that the electricity sector could reduce its annual greenhouse gas emissions by 45 to 77 percent relative to 2015 levels in the base GHG and lower GHG scenarios. This reduction is achieved by continuing to clean up the grid and accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles, which will put us on the road to a clean energy future that meets our climate goals. So, in a nutshell, Electric vehicles are a key part of the clean energy future and are essential to arrest climate change. We must invest in policies that continue to clean up the grid and accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles to reduce carbon pollution from the transportation sector and help us reach our climate goals. Electrification of transportation can enhance air quality. Transportation electrification is an important tool to improve air quality. By replacing traditional combustion-powered vehicles, equipment, and machinery with electric ones, we can reduce emissions of harmful pollutants like nitrogen oxides, NRox, and volatile organic compounds, VOC. This can lead to a decrease in ground-level ozone, the primary component of smog. In many urban areas, electrification could result in ozone reductions of up to three parts per billion. And in Los Angeles and Long Beach port areas, the reduction could be as high as four parts per billion. This could be beneficial for achieving tighter federal ozone standards that public health and medical organizations have recommended for protecting public health. Additionally, reductions in NOx and VOC emissions can lead to a decrease in the formation of fine unhealthy particulate matter, PM2.5 pollution. These reductions are most significant near dense coastal port areas, where non-road equipment can be electrified. By investing in transportation electrification, we can improve air quality, reduce emissions, and protect public health. The EPR, INRDC, adheres to the best study procedures for the analysis of electric cars. The EPR, NRDC study uses analytical best practices to assess the potential emissions impact of transportation electrification. The Comprehensive National Grid Simulation Model the EPR, United States Regional Economy, Greenhouse Gas, and Energy, Luis Wojen model, was used to determine which power plant types will be dispatched to supply electricity 
for charging PVs. The gradual growth of electric vehicles was taken into account, giving utilities time to plan on how they will meet the growing electric needs. The results conducted by the study show that marginal PV load is met primarily by natural gas, wind, and solar. Beyond 2040, our modeled scenarios also make some use of coal plants that capture and sequester their carbon pollution. By using advanced analytical techniques, the EPR NRDC study is able to provide an accurate and reliable assessment of the potential emissions impact of transportation electrification and help to support the transition to a cleaner and greener future, a quality and environmental friendly route to sustainable energy. The EPR NRDC analysis has shown us that a parallel path to clean energy is possible. Through the electrification of our transportation sector and the cleaning up of our electric sector, we can make huge strides in reducing carbon pollution and improving air quality. Electric cars are undeniably a great way to reduce carbon emissions and make the world a greener place. While there are still some considerations to be made in terms of implementation, electric cars are proving to be a more sustainable an environmentally friendly option that can help us take a step in the right direction. So let's not wait any longer and make the switch to electric cars now. What's your thought on this eco-friendly drive? Comment down below and we will see you in our next video.